Today we're going to learn about unicellular and multicellular organisms. Let's learn. What is micro? Micro means very tiny. What is microorganism? Microorganism is organism that only can be seen through a microscope, like coronavirus and bacteria. What is unicellular and multicellular? Uni mean one, multi mean many. Unicellular mean organism with only one cell. Multicellular mean organism with many cells. When we talk about unicellular, we talk about organism with one cell. So one cell organism is very tiny. Example of unicellular animals is amoeba and paramecium. Example of unicellular plants is Chlamydomonas and yeast. For this lesson, you don't have choice. You have to remember unicellular organism in the animal's kingdom. There are amoeba and paramecium. How to remember it? We remember one apa. One is unicellular, A is amoeba, and pa is paramecium. A unicellular organism in the plum kingdom is Chlamydomonas and yeast. Both of them have Y. So we remember one Y plant. One is unicellular. Y stands for Chlamydomonas and yeast. Both of them is under plum kingdom. Euglena is special. Euglena has the characteristic of both plant and animals. Euglena can make its own food like a plant, but it also can move like an animal. Remember guys, unicellular in animal kingdom is one apa. And unicellular in plant kingdom is one Y plant. Multicellular means many cells. Many cells mean that organism has more complex system and most of them can be seen with naked eyes. Multicellular animals is animals that you can see around you like a dog and cat. The smaller one but cannot see with naked eyes is Hydra. Multicellular plant is all type of plant that you can see around you. The smaller plant for multicellular is Pyrogyra and Muco. Remember guys, Hydra is multicellular under animal kingdom. You remember H is H Haiwan in Bahasa. For Spirogira and Muko, we use Miss Plant. M stand for Muko, M stand for multicellular, S stand for Spirogira. Multicellular animals is Hydra, H is Haiwan in Bahasa. Multicellular plants, you remember Miss Plant, M for multi, M for muko, S for spirogira. How to guess and remember who I am? One apa is unicellular animals. Ameba, remember, ameba look like a loose tool, macam tai cirip pirit rupa dia. Okay, paramecium looks like our slipper Jepun. Remember, Jepun got P, so P stand for paramecium. Chlamydomonas with two hair mustaches, like a Y. Yeast has oval shape. Yeast produce gas, make bread rice. Remember, guys, Euglena has one mustache, but have two characteristics. Remember that Euglena have plant and animals character. Muko has round head. Muko always grow on your expired bread at home. Spirogira has green zigzag. Or you want to remember with green inner with continuous as pattern. Again, Hydra is animal. Has stand for Haiwan in Bahasa. All of organism that you learn just now, they all carry out process of life. What is process of life? Process of life is like a pooping, growing, reproduce. Now 
we're going to combine all of multicellular and unicellular organism. Are you ready? Ta-da! Classify the following unicellular and multicellular organism in the three maps below. Are you getting dizzy now? Classify now, please classify. Now we're going to check your answer. Do you get the correct answer, guys? Do you even get one correct or you not even get any correct answer? Now you see how hard it's to remember when everything is combined together. Now we're going to see the characteristic of unicellular and multicellular plant. Remember guys, Chlamydomonas, Pyrogera and Euglena have green chlorophyll for them to absorb light and make their own food. There is two plants that are not able to make their own food because they have no chlorophyll. They are yeast and muco. Yeast feeding on sugar in flour and release carbon dioxide that make the bread rise. Muco grow and expired bread and obtain their food from dead organic materials. All unicellular and multicellular animals cannot make their own food. They either hunt for food or need to be fed. Alright guys, for moral value today, always have mercy on stray cat and dog if you come across with them. Just donate some food that you have. Remember guys, fill the Google Form test provided at the descriptions below to evaluate and enhance your understandings. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.